Hey guys, I'm Callie Lewis. And I'm John P. And on today's show, we're bringing out the sexy. No, not her. The TV stand. <laughs> Welcome to Geek Beat. Sexy and TV stand? Those I know, don't really mix, do they? I know they? you never thought that that could happen before. And to be honest, when Ergotron first approached us about doing a review on their TV stands, we're like, you're like, oh, oh that sounds, I mean, it sounds good, but it's kind of like, I've, like iPhone cases. It's like, how, how it, can you get yeah. excited about them? Okay, but, you put a TV on it, and then it just sits there, right? right? Uh, Wrong! No. <laughs> so, okay, I think we have to, these are the NeoFlex stands from Ergotron. I first, think in order to give well, you an idea. Before we do what I think you're going to okay. suggest, first of all, just stand back a little bit. Those are some good-looking stands, okay? You got to admit, These if you look at you look at the be, the base of the stand, it's got the it's just got pleasing angles to it. Yes, it does. It's got a little shelf that's good-looking. Um, you know, it's a single post. It's it's kind of moderny. Mm -hmm. It's like a postmodern. No, right. Um, it's <laughs> a good-looking stand. To get but, philosophical there. Yeah, but let's look at the real crazy feature, Callie. That is a big, heavy, 50-some-odd-inch Sony TV. I don't know if I can lift that. It's a little too low for the presentation mm. we're going to do. Can you take care of that for us? Sure. How crazy is that? Now, it's a little crooked. Oh, it's a little oh, crooked. Oh, okay. Could you? You want it that? Well, no, that no, 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 no. We don't want it in. Oh, pro, oh, we don't want it oh, in pro. Okay. We just want it in. Yeah, yeah. How but about just that? Uh, straighten just it out. Straighten it out. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Would you like it lower or higher? Crazy, crazy. <laughs> okay. That TV, I can barely lift by myself. Okay. <laughs> this stand is built to handle 90 to 120 pound televisions, and you can effortlessly raise and lower them. Raise it. On Lower the it. fly, okay. Do that. Rotate it Crazy into. Crazy is the right word. It's here. insane, okay. Now the the reason we have two of them is because they make three different sizes. This is one important thing about this monitor stand yeah. is that they have a unique system that does not require any adjustment. It's a friction kind of load balanced thing. And so this so, one is for 25 to 50 pound uh, TVs and monitors. Um, and then this, like, like he said, was from 90 to 120. And so. there's one in the middle. So first of all, if you're going to get one of these TV stands, and by the way, if you get any TV stand, you want one of these. <laughs> Um, make sure you determine what the weight of the yeah. monitor you're going to put on it is and get the right size of this, okay? So the, I mean, the interesting thing is you don't realize how often you need to or you could use the ability to change the height on your TV stand. And when you do, you know, you have to go through all this big process. Well, we're going to compare that here yeah. in a second, but let's just take a look at some of the features and then we'll look at what an economy version looks like, okay? I, I love this right here. This is really cool to really see nice. the cable management system all throughout the entire back. Yeah, two things. First of all, uh, uh, these little plastic pieces, it's so easy to get cables in and out, you just pull it out the side just like that. And when you want them in, you shove them in the side, okay? Um, and these pieces, there's a cap right up here. We're going to pull this cap off. Notice there's a big nut and there's a plus and minus. If this TV is heavy, you crank this up to plus. If the TV's light, you 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 lower this. That way so you that can get the big range. You get the counterbalance can, on yeah. there. Now these these cable ma cable management things they come right off. So if you needed to remove them, you could take these all four of these off. But why would you do that? You just leave them on here, and sit your cap up there. Put that there. Stick your cables right in the little channel here, flex and that right in there. Now I want you to take a look flex all that right the in way there. down to where the cables are leaving. <gasps> look, Bam. what's that? A little shelf built in for for your uh, power supplies. It's the little things, isn't it? It, yeah, is. it really it's, is. You look at something like this and you think, okay, why are you being excited about this shelf? <laughs> You're going to see why in a second. We're going to compare yes. and contrast in a second. But this 
is a huge. It's it's really really nice, and, and it's got. Notice how many yeah these uh, holes that are just drilled for so we can zip up. tie things to it or whatever. Now this we have it mounted flat like this because it has all these screw holes. You could have mounted it yeah. like that, and uh, you know. But we we tie wanted that, that little way. shelf like that. Okay, so let's just let's just move the big one. Here's another thing I like. That is a big heavy thing. Look at that. She just grabs it by the handle. She's dragging it out of the way. Okay. I'm just doing it in circles yeah, now. Okay, you can move it out of the way now. Okay, we're going to take a look at this one. Now, this is not a bad little stand. Uh, let's talk about pricing for a second. This one runs you a little over 750. Yeah. Okay, and you you can get it right off Amazon. This one is going to run you about 300. This is the Tyke Supply TV mount. And it's a good little TV mount. There's no there's nothing wrong with yeah. it. Yeah. But. This is one of those investments that you make like once in you know every decade because you're going to keep it forever. So the question becomes, is it really worth saving the money? So let's look at some of the differences. First of all, we've already seen we can move this thing up and down at, at our will. Over here, if we put a monitor on here and we want to move it. You're going to mount this thing and it stays forever. You well, see, not really it's, got these, it's got these uh, hex bolts here. So first go find the hex key, then take your monitor off, lower these to one of these preset points, not in between, because you can't go in between. You got to be one of these points. Screw the things back in, Put your TV attach back the monitor on. back on. And, and you've adjusted the height. You could say, I will never <laughs> adjust the height. You could. Cool. You could, you could save some money, maybe. Yeah. Um, but, but here's the thing, I and mean, what I was alluding to before, it, you may think you don't want to adjust the height, but let's say you decide to use it for something you're not thinking of. You we know? used or, to. I mean, we. We used to think we would never adjust the yeah, height. Yeah, but now we adjust it all the time. Yeah, <laughs> and and it's a pain. Okay, you got to. And even just for slight movements, to be able to have it right, like for our purposes we, we on camera it, we or. We had to do it at CES. We, we had did. We did. Raise yeah. these things up and, and get them set. You'll get it in a conference room, and it'll be either too high or too low yeah. or something, and you have to take it apart anyway. So. So let's talk about the shelves, okay? The, th this shelf is not quite as big as that one, and that shelf has these little screws right here, and it, it's infinitely adjustable up and down in this channel. This shelf, this is pretty much the only place you can put it because there are, um, you'll notice right back here, it bolts in place. And there's a little, there's a place you could bolt it right here or here or here, but they, you know, once it's there, it's, it has to be unbolted to move up and down, and it's just not offering again the same level of flexibility. Now look at our, uh, yeah, power <laughs> solution. So with the cables in turn, you know, once you've got the TV hooked up here. You're going to want to oh yeah to, this uh, to put the cables channel through management here. oh oh okay the channel, channel management, management. Okay. yeah you have Go to through here you have to pull off this little cap oops oops then you got to run the cable down there oh and here's the and you uh, gotta fish it out you have fish two, it out here a lot. yeah you have two options one down here and one here that's it those two and and putting it in and out of the pole is not so easy. Again, can you do it? Yeah. Yeah, we can do it. We do it all the time. The, uh, and, and so you're going to have to come down here and plug in. And this is about <laughs> the only place that we could zip tie a plug. Now you might say, well, OK, that's a good place to zip tie a plug. Sure, with one problem, and that is this thing is going to rub on the ground and ro roll un behind the wheel and stuff like the that. Wheel, yeah. This one. We have no problem with that because it's up higher. This stays out of the way. It can go. It's these little differences that make it worth the extra cash, okay? <laughs> Not to mention the fact that it just looks way cooler. Yeah. And people are going to freak out when you start, you know, raising and lowering it. It's like Apple is the, or Ergotron is the Apple of TV stands. It really is. So we haven't even looked at the, at the componentry used right. in here. But, I mean, if you look, for example, these are like machined um, aluminum pieces that this, yeah, that's how you tilt this particular monitor, okay? Um, and, and, and it's just really everything smooth over here. It's just kind of bolt in place steel. And if you want to adjust the angle this way, you have to loosen this bolt on both sides, adjust it, tighten the bolt. 
it's so you always have to have the tools at the ready right. if you want to make any changes on something like that. Again, if you really, really will, never will, then that might be an option for hey, you. If three hundred dollars, this is a good stand that's going to get you around. It's got tiny wheels. It's got not a huge amount of adjustment, yep. but it's going to hold a TV in place. This one is going to be impressive. <laughs> it's going to give you functionality you never even knew existed. But now that you do, you're going to want it. <laughs> and it's not that expensive in total. Right. It may be more expensive than a cheap one, but it's well worth it. So that is the new sexy. That's right. <laughs> Head on over to Ergotron.com to see them. Uh, again, this is the NeoFlex. You can also get them on Amazon. We'll yep. have them in the show notes oh, as yeah. well. So uh, check it out. Thanks, guys. Thanks. This is Geek Beat. Thumbs up on YouTube. So if you got them. We're out of here. Bye.